What's up YouTube? I figure I'd give you a little quick update. I yeah, want to get going on. Oh, got my two by fours up here. We'll get into that in a second. Got this cap here foamed up. Got this side foamed up. It's a little bright out here today. And of course the A pillars are already foamed. Uh, I didn't do the back yet. I got to build a little a cut plate in here to stop the foam from filling up in there. Actually, I might pull the speakers and foam it all. Cut out for the speaker. Uh, not 100% sure. Uh, well, <laughs> I jumped the gun and uh, didn't get enough info on how people do the roof, so I decided to 2x4 mine. So, I'll give you a little quick inside real quick. There's a couple voids. There's still, we still got some holes up here. We're going to foam all these in. Get off from the speaker. Right here, all these holes. So, I decided we're going to do three at a time. I used some of that pl times eight stuff uh to he's them the two by four to the metal because liquid nail does not say it does not say that it uh bonds metal and wood now you can see i got a little bit of cabbage right here because i threw the system in went to the jacksonville's loudest meet and greet thing saturday or whatever so i threw my system in long story short it kind of messed my seal up up here what i was going for now I know you're looking and you're like, ah, oh, two by fours, oh, you glued it to your roof. How'd you get them to stay up there? I didn't use jacks. Like I said, I jumped the gun. Oh, climb up here. I went and got some two inch metal screws that you'd put on your roof. Like if you was put like build a lean to or just putting a metal roof on. So they got the rubber gaskets on them and stuff. Ah, made a little mess right there. We're not worried about that. Uh so i'm putting pretty well about two two to three rows per two by four in a sense this one here i actually had to add a third one but i'm just gonna double row it all the way up like right here see the two 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 and then these two here grip into one two by four of course you know i had to actually add this in because it wasn't pulling up the side but let me show you how i messed up look at that it's pulling the damn roof, the dang roof, sorry. It's pulling the dang roof to the two by fours. Whereas other people I talked to just took some three quarter inch, put a bunch of uh, slices in it to make it roll and bend, you know, cause you gotta try to get the arch. Well, my two by fours are flat. So of course I'm pulling the roof to it. So once again, I'll show you the view. So as you see what I'm talking about right here, it's gonna actually be a, a puddle right here my whole roof will be flat so i'm gonna try to jack it up i'm not cutting my two by fours by no means i'm gonna try to jack it up the best i can to get it to get that bow out right there but basically i'm gonna pull the roof all the way across flat mount it to just two by fours of course mount put a uh, i'm not gonna run a as they say a stripper pole i'm just gonna run two by fours up in this puppy and then after i get it all the way across i'm gonna cut a hole right here a small hole just big enough to send a two by four through so i'm gonna send it through the double baffle and actually mount it down here to the floor so i'm gonna actually get the two by four mount it after i get it all jacked up and then we'll go up underneath and screw two by four is going to be right here aim through of course i'll put two two holes down up down bottom so i know where to drill at and then when i'm gonna come through i'm gonna come through the underneath side of the truck basically and screw in that two by four Put a couple brackets on the uh, inside of the box so you don't see it right here. And then it'll just be a 2 by 4 We're pretty good cutting and a little bit of caulking or whatever. Liquid nail, whatever we decide to use. It'll be pretty good. So it's going to go through the box in a sense. And then, then up to here, up to my roof. After I get the 2 by 4s across. And it's going to mount to the 2 by 4s here and there. So in a sense, if you know, you know, you know a little bit about base and all that good stuff. Then you know kind of what I'm going for. Uh... With that, actually, the reason I decided to go to the floor instead of to the top of the box, because I'm starting to get a little box vibrate right now. Of course, it ain't screwed down fully, but starting to get a little box vibrate. So I hope when I mount it to the floor with that 2x4, I'm going to get some uh, brackets from Home Depot on the inside to mount to the 2x4 and then screw to the box. So that way, it'll be braced right here, and then, of course, top to bottom right there. Now, sounds way, way easier than it's going to be. It might actually be dang near impossible to do this because, in a sense, I have to get a 2x4 
through this truck. Let me take a step back and give you a view. So what I'm going to have to do, it look, I can already go ahead and see, I'm going to have to cut the 2 by 4 in half and then pop it back together with the, you know, freaking spikes or whatever. Whatever they're called. I'm not a framer. I'm an RV tech. Whatever they're called. I'm going to put it back together. So I have to cut the 2 by 4 So what I'll do is I'll maybe cut it a little bit inside the box once again so you don't see all the clamps and all that good stuff holding it together. So it's a pretty good idea. It does suck when I have to cut the 2 by 4 but you can reinforce a cut 2 by 4 and make it just as strong if not stronger than before of course we're going to redo our wiring and stuff uh we're going to wrap the box this year well next go around i'm going to pull all this out wrap it uh probably going to carpet it and because for jacksville and i love jaguars might get some jaguar uh, fabric from walmart and wrap over the carpet in a sense you know put the carpet on there first that'll help insulate it well not insulate it that'll help sound deaden it in a sense and then put the fabric across it just to make it look good. Gotta like Jaguars. Favorite team. Gotta represent you. Represent your city at all times. So, just a little quick update there on what I got going on. Uh, next video I'll give you, 2x4s will be done. And I should have all this foamed in. Gonna have to rerun this freaking wire right here. Just powers on my cargo light. I'm gonna have to rewire that up, so... We'll probably do something pretty slick with that because I do work with 12 volt wire every day at work. So we might do a little something fancy on that this year. But until then, peace.